one thing about the sanguine in relationship and marriage is that we are attracted to the melancholy the introvertish end okay we are always attracted to the guys that are cool that just have their thing going on cool you know they are not the ag -ag 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 -ag, like us kind of people first of all as a sanguine wife you should know that your husband is not always comfortable with the way you speak so as a sanguine lady please bridle your tongue that is the thing that causes trouble you see our tongue oh god that's the thing that causes trouble okay. secondly as sanguines we should be patient with our husbands they are not like you so don't expect them to be like you so you you want everything to be fast 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 but they but they they take their time calculate it and third thing is don't expect him to change don't expect him to be like you two persons cannot be loud at the same time in the house i used to say something if the two spouses are loud man the children will be on the roof and on the other hand if you're married to a sanguine you know you need to give her a lot and lot of attention listen to her